We'll just have to wait and see what happens. Zolf, very soon the kid's gonna have to face that man again, for the last time. First time Zolf had nothing to lose. He was born to a simple or a couple who didn't last long before plague took him. He grew up hungry in the tunnels of the Tazel terminals, so he took to stealing from a Ceylonian missionary living there. got sloppy with his thieving hands. The missionary caught him, but didn't rat him out. Instead, he offered to take him in. That missionary raised Zolf like a gentleman, like he was his own son. Taught him theology, history, and mercy. teaching the missionaries wisdom to any Ura who would listen. And listen they did. should atone for the war. He believed the city had much to teach his people.
However, Zoe felt he could only do so much in the Tassel terminals. He needed Ceylandia to know the era had changed. He decided to do what the missionary did many years before. He left the city of his youth to brave a savage land. saw the rippling walls on the horizon. He endeared himself to city folk straight away, and in turn he fell in love with the city and its people. One in particular. fascinated by the Ura, but she never met anyone like Zolf. She told him she knew all the city's best kept secrets. was their favorite spot. It was there that Zolf clasped her hands and proposed in proper Ceylandian style. <laughs> the Ura Ceylandian War Memorial, built like an Ura Den. But something was wrong. Few faces he saw on the street stared back at him with gray and face. 
inside her home, but when he reached out to her, she joined with all the ashes in the sky. So Zolf returned to where he proposed in the hanging gardens, and there he stood, as if the gods would answer him. <laughs> 